right, gonna be giving you guys a little update on the homestead. We just got a new batch of Cornish crossers for our second time, and we're gonna be doing some work to the garden compost to get our beds ready for our spring and summer crops. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the work I do in the compost bins today. Our fall crop is coming to an end, so it's time to amend these beds and get them ready for the spring and summer crop. You can see here a lot of our crops are starting to go to seed and flower, like our broccoli here. We do still have some vegetables to harvest, like our cabbage and onions here. All right, time to work on our compost bins. We're gonna start off by adding some water to our bins. We're gonna be reaping the benefit of our compost bins today. We're gonna be sifting through the soil and getting some compost to add to our raised beds. After adding water to our compost bins, we're gonna to start to stir them up and mix them around. All right, it's time to start sifting compost. This process does take time, but it's well worth it in the end with the compost that you receive. After a few rounds of sifting, I'm starting to build up a significant amount of compost. I'm done sifting my first compost bin, so I'm going to move on to start working my second bin. All right, it's time to start adding the compost into my garden beds. You can see here how rich and dark the compost is. You're just gonna wanna apply the compost to the top layer of soil. You're not gonna do any tilling. All right, here I'm gonna chop up some fresh greens from my bin on the very right and add it to my two bins on the very left. This will help speed up the decomposition time. I prefer to avoid adding bulky items to the compost bins, that's why I chop it up beforehand. Here in our garden, we have a three bin compost system, which works well for us. This allows us to have each compost bin at different stages. Our two bins on the left here are the most decomposed and ready to sift whereas our bin on the right is, has a lot of fresh material. That's a wrap on a day's work in the garden. I got my compost bins sifted and turned. I still need to amend my other beds and it's just about time to start planting some of my seeds into the beds. Here's our new batch of Cornish crossers. They are about three to four days old. We got eight females and seven males. Doing really good in the shed here. Stay tuned for more Cornish Crosser videos coming up soon on the channel. If you liked this video, make sure to check out some of my other garden videos here. Spring is right around the corner, so a lot more garden content coming your way. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.